Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray, that's Koji, and today we're gonna check out the new Evo Retro Top Loader Binder to see if it is worth it. But before we get to actually check this bad boy out, let me tell you guys about this video's giveaway. So for this video, we are going to be giving away one Frankie promo. And all you have to do is hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Now, without further ado, let's go check out the new Evo Retro or Retro. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Shield Plus Top Loader Binder. So, as a One Piece collector and someone that has a lot of cards that I am collecting, I needed to figure out how I wanted to store it. I thought of getting all of them graded, but feasibly and economically, just because I live in Canada, it is going to be very, very, very expensive that it's simply not gonna be worth it. So then I looked for alternatives and one of the things that I keyed on is getting top loader binder. My brother Mark actually sent me a Kickstarter project from a Canadian uh, investor or I guess Canadian inventor of a brand new type of top loader binder and I basically backed it and got a couple of different top loader, uh, top loader binder and I have just recently received it so I figure hey I'm gonna open it up for this channel and tell you guys if I feel that it is worth it. All right, let's go check this out. I am so excited. So before we check this out, let me show you guys the dimension of this. This is a one really, really sleek and sexy box. So it comes fully shrink wrap. So you know that everything has been properly sealed there's no tampering involved and it all feels premium all right let's go open up the shrink wrap and check out the bad boy inside all right we got the shrink or the shrink wrap uh gone so this is what it looks like it looks like it's a little bit damaged during shipping when it got to me but honestly it's not too bad it looks mostly intact and one thing that i can tell you guys is that this feels premium just even through the packaging as you can see the brand evil retro the retro that's the one that is in charge of making this product and this one is a shield plus top loader binder i will leave a link in the comment down below or i guess in the description down below of where to find it um i was able to get it in the backer price so it's a little bit cheaper than you would get it right now all right let's go check this out and open it up i am so excited to finally have a place to store all of my cards all right, so to open this, there's uh, two tabs in the bottom that you have to open. And then suddenly it's going to... Oh, wow. If you can see that, it looks like the packaging looks absolutely gorgeous. We have a little thank you. Um, oh, I'm going to cover that one. It looks like there's a really good thank you card for all of the backers that's awesome coming from eric paul i guess that's the leader of evil retro very appreciated it looks absolutely cool and if you see up top you can see that it says evil retro proudly displayed and protected i guess that's their logo Everything here looks absolutely premium, guys. Looks so good. And let's go check this out. So, for or as a backer, I was able to get this for about 45, 50 Canadian, which is very, very good price in my opinion. If it's wrong, it's somewhere, paste it in the screen. 
and it comes in a lot of different colors so the ones that i got is a white one and a black and red one i will show you that later chris got a black one uh mark got some i forgot which color he got but yeah you should see in the screen the different color combinations that's available but yeah this is what the actual binder looks like let's go move the packaging to the side all right so we have the actual binder so this one i think the color is called tundra white i think it looks absolutely sleek you can see the evo retro logo in there and one of the things that's really nice is that at the end it's actually a holder so you can just hold it this way or if you're gonna be walking you can kind of hold it like a little bag so yeah so the feel it's obviously not leather um so it is uh synthetic leather that they have it here but it feels really really good it doesn't feel cheap or that it's going to um come off anytime soon i think the coloring looks absolutely pristine as you can see the edges are stitched and it looks really really good so far there's really no big mistakes or anything that feels like it is or they are cutting quarters all right so that is the outside let's quickly open this up and check inside all right so that is the zipper the zipper looks pretty good so one of the things that i am always worried about is the quality of the zipper just because that's usually one of the first things that breaks so we'll see how it holds up but you know i've been tugging it it looks like it's pretty good so far but usually it'll be something that you will not really realize how good it is until a little bit later on so yeah let's go check this out and see how the pages look all right so it looks like there are a few goodies that's inside here as part of being a backer so it looks like it comes with a bunch of stickers let's go check it out so we have some fun stickers uh just one more pack just one more pack i promise uh that is that is literally me when opening one piece card uh, don't touch my collection i love how it's all very meme -y. that's a horrible idea what time that's me whenever i uh someone tells me that op01 boxes are in stock and here's a bunch of other stickers so that's pretty cool i think that's pretty awesome that they included that as an extra little fun thing to add value to the products so here uh has a little bit of pamphlet of the actual product as you can see it holds up to 216 cards i think um that's amazing and for me that i have so many cards that i'm collecting definitely the more cards that i can uh, store the better as you can see here there you go so here are some of the design options that's available uh so chris got the black one i got the white and the black and red one but as you can see they have a bunch of pokemon colored ones so we have pikachu i think uh, we have some purple green we have some really cool different patterns there as well and yeah so they offer a bunch of other products as well uh, check out their site on the link on my description to see if it's something you might be interested in so here's a little code to, uh, for you guys to scan to actually go to their site and it looks like each one comes with uh, i guess a bonus about 10 i think 10 top loaders which is cool 
And then it comes with one of these magnetic cakes, uh, cases. Looks awesome. It comes with about 100, maybe 20, I don't know, uh, sleeves. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he has a bunch of things for uh, packaging. So this is what the binders look like. Ooh, one of the things that I really, really like is the feeling of the inside. It feels really premium and very soft. So, uh, so it's not leather. It's hard to explain, but it has very, very good feeling. And it feels that if you have anything like graded cards stored in here, because this is where you will st store your graded cards, that it's not going to scuff it. It all feels premium and it all feels good. All right. So next, let's go check out the pages. So one of the things that obviously that I check out when I'm looking is, uh, on these type of products is how good are the pages? Are they going to tear? And yeah, so from the, you know, cursory test that I'm doing of just trying to pull it and mimic my daily use obviously if you want to rip it out you can but be re realistic in testing it and seeing you know in trying to mimic your daily use rather than trying to abuse it and trying to break it but so far it looks like it is quite strong oh it looks like it ripped here a little bit so maybe it's not ultimately the strongest so maybe something that you have to watch out for when you're putting your top loader uh, maybe for daily use it's great but it's not maybe something that you should abuse and uh, test rigor rigorously one thing also for this one is that I like that the uh, I guess the spine is not an actual uh, o-ring just because that if you fill this out an o-ring binder usually might cause potential damages in the future just because the cards can overlap with the metal ring and that will cause indentations and damage in the future so having these kind of spines in the middle is definitely the best option and it looks like it is attached really really well and really securely so it doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere all right so without further ado let me put my collections in here so that you guys can see what it looks like all right so uh, these are some of the cards from op01 that i have here and I quickly put it all together so that you guys have an idea of what it actually looks like well, once you actually put the top loaders inside. So one of the things that's really nice is that the it looks like the top loaders are snugly inside. They're not going to be falling out anytime, so which is really, really good. And yeah, one of the things that's really nice as well is that it is very clear it is not matte in terms of the actual sleeve or I guess the uh, uh, pages here and it allows you to actually look at the cards in pristine condition and yeah guys I've been waiting for this binder for so long so that I can actually look at my collection like this they've been inside my container for so long and yeah it's such a pain to actually find the cards just for me to admire it but looking at these it just you just appreciate the art you know you get to appreciate Otis art how great these character designs look and how amazing One Piece card game art is and why I became a collector. Oh man, it's been it's been so long since I've seen some of these cards. Man, King, 
Love it. I love the crocodile. Oh, the Doflamingo leader looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, look at that. One of my favorite one, Yamato. So, yeah. So, this is an example of what it looks like once you actually start building this out. I can't wait to put the rest of my collections in here. And I haven't decided how I want to actually form or I guess put my collection in this. It, you know, one of, uh, one of the options is to put everything in uh, order in terms of numbers. The other one is to separate leaders and characters. The other one is to, you know, separate it by sets. I haven't really decided yet how I want to do this, but I'm so excited, guys. So, yeah. So that has been the Evo Retro Shield Plus Top Loader Binder. Comment down below, guys. Um, so, so yeah. So for me, anyway, uh, the final question is, is it worth it? And for me, it's a thousand yes. If I wanted to display my cards in any other way, well, you know, I have to pay so much to get them all graded. And if I store it in a container in top loaders, uh, you know, they are not displayed, displayed like this. And yes, you can buy other top loaders in the market. However, the Evo Retro one, I love the premium feeling of it. Their packaging is top notch. I love that how this one has a little handle if you want to. I uh, transport it. He has a lot of very, very good and cool options. And yeah, everything here feels very, very premium. Check out their prices, guys. Go to their site. This is not, this is not, um, I guess, uh, it's not sponsored. They did not pay for this. I paid for this with my own money. But I know that a lot of you guys are collectors and trying to figure out how to best display your cards. And yeah, hopefully I gave you guys a little uh, idea in how to do it. Uh, because for me, this seems like the most economical and best way to do it so far. So yeah, so this has been my review for me. For sure, the Evo Retro Shield Plus Top Loader Binder is definitely worth it. And comment down below, guys. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth it? I have the price posted in the screen. Do you think it's worth it for that price? Or do you think it's too much? Um, you know, maybe you guys want your cards to all to be graded. But for me, uh, it's just too expensive and it takes way too long. And, uh, you know, I just love staring at these cards like this. Uh, it's just so good. All right, as always, guys, if you want to be part of my giveaway and potentially win the there you go, Frankie card, oh, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. As always, I hope everyone will have an amazing rest of the week, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.